We are now live. What's good, people? It's currently three minutes past 8 p.m. UK time, Sunday, the 10th of December 2023. Welcome to another amazing episode of Technically Speaking, where we shung, shung, shung the crypto market, stock market, macro, talk about non financial advice, macro data. Share some non-financial advice, trading, investing advice. I mean, not advice, discussions, um, you name it. So this is a show hosted by, um, well, it's basically Bit Blonde show. She created <laughs> Yeah, it was her idea. She was like, Ninja, we need to do a Sunday show. I was just like, all right then, all right then. Let's do a Sunday show, fine. She's just like, yeah, Ninja, I got all these crazy BTC prices and I, I got this magic crystal ball. And then she's like, I'm, Bitcoin's going to go to 44K. And then I was like, no, it's not. And then it did. And she was wrong. <laughs> so she's a star to show right now. <laughs> Ninja was bearish. Bit Blonde was bullish. And Ninja was wrong. So this is the Bit Blonde show featuring me. Oh, my God. So <laughs> um, first of all, let's just make sure everything's working on the YouTube. And then we'll get to the disclaimer. And then we'll crack on. Um, can you just go to YouTube, dude, please? We're just going to get some technical support from St. Jerome. St. Jerome, let me show you guys. Unfortunately, my camera's not working, so St. Jerome can't go on camera. But let me show you guys who St. Jerome is, right? Yeah, can you go on YouTube, please? Is it, is it, is it working? It's working, okay, cool. So before getting into the disclaimer, yeah, let me just show you who's in the room right now. I'd show you on camera, but the Matrix is attacking my camera. Look, if I try to turn in my camera, it's what happens. You guys can't see anything, right? You guys can't see nothing. Yes, one second. Let me make you co-host. Cool, you should be able to record now. Um, so he is St. Jerome, a.k.a. Ashley Pierre. He's this guy here. He's my original Bitcoin buddy. We invested in Bitcoin and OneCoin, which was one of the biggest crypto scams ever. If you know about OneCoin, imagine it's 2015, 2016, and you logged into a centralized Web2 website with your email and password, and everybody thought that eventually they would launch. This meeting's being recorded, yeah, and everybody thought that uh, it would turn into this big thing and then uh yeah the uh they ended up rugging anyway that's who's in the room um yeah saint jerome's we're very lucky to have him on the team actually can, can you come on camera dude turn on your camera say hello oh he's being shy right now he's being shy right now so welcome to technically speaking um pretty self-explanatory what the show is we do charts data etc our blockchain sensei we run three free webinars every single uh, week. We do Mondays, Fridays, and Sundays. Mondays is our legacy show, which is the game. Every single Monday, 8 p.m. till half nine UK time since summer 2020. About 150 or 150 plus, I've lost count now, episodes out now on YouTube. The game, we mainly cover macro data and fundamentals. So we dive into uh, big reports and such fridays is nft fridays that's pretty self-explanatory uh, for the super degens and you name it uh risk takers in the, in, in the metaverse please don't put your net worth in nfts guys uh you'll get wrecked um and then sundays is actually i love all our shows but i think sunday is my favorite show <laughs> like sunday is where i'm in my bag because Sundays is charts and data and trading, right? So to get to, to, to get to any of our webinars, go to blockchain.sensei Instagram and then click the link in our bio. Please make sure you go to the right blockchain sensei, blockchain.sensei Instagram. Make sure you speak to the right Ninja T, the right Mr. Harding, the right Quiche. Um, there's lots of people trying to in, uh, impersonate us. Click the top link and that's how you join the Zoom. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, I need to remove this because Friday the 24th was uh, a while away, actually. But Activision Blizzard, big ups to them. Big ups to everyone who came to Game Boy Rally. If you don't know about Game Boy Rally, just go to our YouTube channel, check it out. 
get to know about our Play to Earn subsidiary. Um, join our free WhatsApp, our free Telegram, get a 30 minute AI consultation with Keish. Dare I say it, Blockchain Sensei may be giving out the greatest freemium in all of Web3 right now. In, of course, you've got amazing partners like Piplon. You should tap into her YouTube, uh, uh, et cetera. Um, so let's get into the disclaimer and let's let's get into these charts. Where is Mr. Harding? Dude, can you call Mr. Harding? Because he should be in here. So the YouTube is definitely working, right? Like you, oh, oh, he's here. What's up? How, how long have you been here for, dude? Oh, mad, 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 mad. Yes. So the goat has been busy. He's going to uh, come and explain where he's been because we missed him. Right? But but do, do you know what it is? Let me publicly say, yeah, even though you guys see me publicly, Mr. Harden and Keish haven't even been speaking to me. Like, I've been in my own world. I spent 19 hours on Dex Tools. In like the past 48 hours. Oh my God, right. Let me just bang through this and you can go first. So... All content is for education, information, and entertainment purposes only. It should not be considered as investment advice or recommendation to buy, sell, hold any assets, nor place any trades. Please always do your own research. Our content is intended to should not be used for informational use only. It's very important to do your own analysis before making any investments, which should be based on your own individual circumstances. You should always take independent professional advice from a professional advisor. Any professional advisors in the room? Alternatively, independently research and verify all and any information you may find in our show that you may wish to rely upon, whether you wish to make an investment decision or otherwise. All investments come with what, guys? So therefore, do you know what? Yeah, no one's a financial advisor in the house, or if they are, they're not uh, letting us know and they're staying quiet, you know, because we stream this on LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and soon to be Binance Live. That's my fault why it's not on Binance Live. I need to sort it out. Uh, Voice of Crypto, public apology. I'm slacking. I've been in the trenches. We will get this dual stream. This show is about to be double streamed on Blockchain Sensei and Voice of Crypto platforms very soon. So we're going to get some wide reach in India, etc. cetera. Um, let's get it in. Let's not, let's not miss about. If you're unable to mitigate your risk, let, let us know immediately so we can refer you to an accredited financial advisor, accountant, financial professional, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so I just had to whiz through that because, sorry, let me just share back to the Zoom, one sec, back to the Zoom, what, back to the Zoom, back to the Zoom, back to the Zoom, boom. Uh, because time is of the essence and Mr. Hardy needs to go and he's hardly here, so we need to grab him. Uh, let yeah, me... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me make you. Uh, I'm about to. I'm logging in on my laptop, so I'll be co-host on that. But yeah, what I wanted to say first before I get into my side of the charts is one thing that I would definitely, definitely tell people that I've been stacking up on is NFTs. Um, having been a little bit more closer in the ecosystem of Solana, um, I've seen some of the NFTs in that space do absolute madness now we already saw that the nf we've, we've been bullish on nfts during this bear market for a while um and then recently we covered uh clanos recently we, we we've been exploring and dabbling with some of the things in the nft space but in the recent reports and from what we're seeing is solana nfts are absolutely murking um if NFTs. So for me, it's a case of guys, it's, it's something that if you hadn't paid attention to before, pay attention to now because there's NFTs like the Mad Lads, there's the Klanos, um, a couple of things on on um on um sorry, my brain's just come on. Um there's a couple of things on Solana that are just doing an absolute Maza. Um, Ninja, if you can send me this Zoom link on Telegram, please. 
Um, it's literally so, so, our link tree. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Damn. Yeah. Duh. Duh. Um, fact, so it's, yeah, it's, that's it's, what better, it's better to share the link tree because then it incentivizes them to join the Telegram and or WhatsApp and subscribe to the YouTube. Right. Everything in one minute. That is very, very true. So, yeah, one of the tokens, uh, I don't know if you've picked up on this this project, Ninja, um, but is a project on Solana called Bonk, and this project has been doing an absolute madness. I found out about it when I went to Solana Breakpoint. Um, well, 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 do you mean it's doing then, a madness like developing or price action-wise? Price action wise, it's done like okay, 5,000%. Okay. No, 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 guys, 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 guys. Let me give you some super alpha look. When when the public, when enough people know about a meme coin that's just popped, where you want to look is the alternative meme coins of that meme coin. Yeah. So I've I didn't buy any bonk, but I'll be making loads of money off punk, right? Which is like a Pepe Solana meme. Yeah. So like that, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. where the money always lies. In the alternative yeah. meme coin of the uh, meme coin, it's very dangerous, though, guys. We have extreme risk management and only tiny amounts of capital that you're willing to burn. But yeah, yes, yeah, I'm not going to and I can't lie. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say the these kind of things that we're talking about today are like for those that have basically got money to blow. These are plays that if you've already made profit and now you're looking to flip some of that profit that's where you, you'd contemplate some of what i'm gonna show um it's a little bit of some of the stuff that we covered already um but then it's that we covered in last monday's episode but a, a few other things as well uh let me know if you can see me jumping in on the zoom on my phone One minute Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, perfect. Sharing. Uh, make me host on this one, please. What are you not co-host? What? Oh. No, no, no. Boom, that though. Okay. Um. Perfect. Right, you got me, yeah. You see me loud and clear. You see me? They hate it. They can't. All right, cool. So I was in Breakpoint in October. Um, the token got released uh, November. And what happened was a lot of the people that were attending Breakpoint got given this token for free. Now, I didn't pay any attention to it, even though they actually had a boxing match. So what was happening is you could volunteer to go and box if one of your friends. And if you did, you got given a million bonk just, just for having a boxing match with your friend. Now, one of the people I'm working with, um, he got his bonk and he received it on the last day of November. So around here. Um, and this is what it's done since then, as you can see, 300% um, in 10 days. Um, so, Bit of a screamer there. Um, do I think it's got more potential to go further? I think it's due a slight pullback, as you can see, because uh, it's only green. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm I'm expecting a bit of a, a pullback on that. So uh, what I'm going to go over today is things that I'm personally going to be jumping into literally today slash tomorrow. So one of them is this here. So I clocked this little snipe here perfect two touch bounce here and a touch of the 10 ma just here on ton now what is ton so for me this is both got the technicals are showing good signs our size come down to 58 you've got the 10 20 crossovers happened here it's just come and done a pullback and this pullback is acting on a support as well this is on the 10 20 on the weekly bear in mind um and the support is on the weekly bear in mind um and what is ton it is actually the platform for telegram um so if anybody uses telegram you know it's got a few users you know that a lot of people in crypto are on telegram um, mm -hmm. and telegram also has a wallet function so this is a, both a technical Hello, and a Wallet, fundamental man. play um that's why i'm super bullish on ton at this moment in time 
Now, where, do, where am I expecting this one to move up to? So let's do a little Phoebe, Mad Phoebe, Phoebe Madness. So I would say that was the clear base. That was the clear top. That was the clear pullback to there. Boom, and we can see it did hit this level here, the 618, and then came back down to this level. So it's hitting these fibs perfectly, like textbook. So from here, where am I expecting? I'm expecting now the 1618 level, and then maximum is this level here. So I'm going to take some profit here, and then take my next bit of profit just here and again bear in mind this is on the weekly so expect this can to play I, can out I just say i wouldn't do that i would to be taking multiple profits between those that's too much of a gap for me personally fair enough um so yeah i'm going to be holding these on a on not on a, a day trade um these are going to be on a long swing trade so i'm going to set them and forget them so i'm just going to put a, a bit of cash in here if it goes anywhere great if it doesn't go anywhere great I'm not really bothered. This is just literally play money that if it does what it does, that's fantastic. Like I said, all of these plays are not day trades. They are not trades to be looking at and observing and looking at the markets every day. These are just trades whereby you've got a little bit of surplus cash from trades that you've already profited on. And you're in a position whereby you haven't really got that much time to be looking on the markets and doing loads of exits and so on and so forth. You're just like, I want to put my money in something. I want to get some kind of gains, um, but I just don't know where to go. So the next one like that would be Link. Um, why Link? Again, when we look at this bigger macro play here, uh, we've had this crazy accumulation zone, which is really clear just here. Hopefully you can see this, this box that's kind of formed here. Probably see that. Let me just draw it in just to make it a little bit more clearer. <laughs> Hmm? I would say to there. So we can see that was a clear accumulation zone. Um, the RSI has pulled back slightly. We did get our cross here. Um, so this is steamed all the way up. So now it's pulled back and it's pulled back to the 200 week MA. Not just any old MA, the 200 week MA, which is pretty crazy. Now, from there, where am I expecting this one to go? The all-time high on this is 52. Has it got the potential to get to 52? In my opinion, yes. Only based on this super macro move. But again, this is for anybody that is willing to set and forget. This is not a day trade. This is a complete set and forget move. So... This down to here. Boom. And we can see what happened when it came back down. It hit this first fib level perfectly. Like, come on. Look, 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 look at that. Look, look how perfect that hit is. I mean, come on, guys. Like, really? You'd you think that I've created the fibs to fit these prices. I haven't, guys. Trust me. Um, so from here on this set and forget. Uh, the next area of resistance that we're looking at is around uh, $25. So that's about 100% move almost. Uh, but then for me, really, I'm looking at this $91 uh, price target. That's my uh, main exit on this one that I'm looking at on Chainlink. Uh, do I think Chainlink's got the right fundamentals? Hell yes. Um, why? Because Chainlink, their whole objective is to help real-world businesses bring their stuff on chain who's that important to pretty much everybody that's weather that's commodities prices and i think this is going to have more as more things get more commodities um and property and so on and so forth get tokenized and turn into real world assets you're gonna need a price oracle um so what better to do that with than chain link so that's that first one there uh, where else from there would be the 231 mark I'll probably get out at 198. I wouldn't wait for that extra 231. Um, again, this would be weekly. Um, so that's a, a 10x, well, 16x I'm expecting on this one. Well, 15x to, to be precise that I'm expecting on this. So absolute set and forget. Buy it, leave it, see what happens. Come back to it when everyone else is talking about it. 
that's my my move on this on, on this one. Um, and then my other one, you know, I'm always talking about this, and this is Axie Infinity. Um, but we're not going to look at Axie. We're actually, you know, what? I'll do both. Now, Axie, I think, is most primed to do a rip next, just because of what we're seeing on this 1020 cross here. We can again see there was a really beautiful support here. Bang! Look at that. Again, that's on the weekly. If we break that down to the daily, it'll look even more beautiful. I mean, look at that. That was around the $4 mark. Whoever was accumulating that is already up about 75%. Um, but from here, we've crossed over the, the 200 moving day average. We've got our 1020 cross as well. So, but then if we go to the weekly, as we're setting and forgetting, where do we go from here? From five dollars well from six dollars what's it at now seven dollars is out now right all-time high 153 dollars so that is an absolute monster play now why am i bullish on this because fundamentally it's an intersection of all of the major plays in crypto right now it's crypto it's gaming and it's nfts all in one there is in my opinion very, very, very unlikely that Sky Mavis, that made billions of dollars, right, billions, that they haven't put any money from those billions of dollars back into the game. I find it very, very unlikely. And I'm going to give you some extra alpha and some extra source on that in a second. Uh, so again, we can see the crazy, crazy returns here. Again, it's a complete set and forget. Let's say, for example, uh, one of your trades, you've made two grand, put 200 quid into this, set and forget, leave it, boom. <laughs> I think you've, you would have made more than your, your, your two grand um, and you'd be pretty happy with that return. Um, but again, it's a set and forget. If it runs, it runs. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If it, if it, if it goes nowhere, you've lost 200 quid. Um, but to do that, you would have only used 10% of your winnings anyway um so this is the other one and this is smooth love potion um and this is an essential part of the game axie infinity and again we can see the all-time high returns on this are absolutely redonkulous now this is the most important token in the entire axie infinity ecosystem um and again is there a chance that there has been some accumulation on this? Again, what are we looking on? We are looking on the weekly. We are not looking on the daily here. And what do we see? Look at that support. Literally laser-focused support here at 0 0.01311. So your downside here is... 64%, but your upside was what, 27x? So, you know, if you've made a grand profit in something and you put a hundred pound of it into Smooth Love Potion, you do the maths, 27x on a on hundred pound. So, yeah. And again, that's weekly. Let's go and look at this on daily and have a look at this support. On a knife edge, this stuff. Look at that. Bang, 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 bang. 10, 20 cross, bang. So, yeah, that's that's my opinion on this. So we've had leg one, and I think we're in the middle of leg two now uh, for this to start moving a little bit more. So now I'm going to just give you some crazy alpha that because I haven't been here for a long time, I'm going to give you this. Um, I shouldn't... Me even putting this out there on the internet could get me in a lot of trouble. Um, but I'm just going to... It's it's on the internet. It's, it's, it's a website. So you can just discover it yourself. Um, so... Let me just share screen... I'm not going to say anything. You're just going to do your own research into 
the companies that are aligned here that are all members and you do the maths you do the maths how do i zoom in well i don't don't really need to zoom in i'll just hover my mouse we've done a few episodes on um whales um but yeah just if you look and do your own research you will see that this alpha is very interesting alpha um yeah so that's my bit done can i ask a quick question michael is, is so you, know, <laughs> you know what you talked about um those, those, those plays you made are you just, are you going to do a spot trade or are you just going to simply like buy and hold is that on yeah, coinbase they're, they're all swing trades. I, don't, I don't day trade oh I just, so I, I can't i oh, can't day trade i just don't have time i haven't got a time for example of why i can't day trade so we i did an event for solana on friday in glasgow mm. and i found out mm. on the day that the projector didn't have audio so oh, shit. so having to move around all of my speakers having oh, to move yeah. around the guests having to sp split the room mm. in two i haven't mm. got the time to, to be what, looking at charts when i'm doing well, that. What, what exchange would you recommend for like are you just gonna use coinbase like what, would you, what exchange would you recommend to for that for them kind of um for those swing trades uh, for, for me those... swiss borg and coinbase swiss borg and coinbase coinbase yeah. kucoin and what's the other one that i use uh swiss borg Binance? No, not Binance, no. <laughs> no 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 not not touching that um and then <laughs> oh there's one more there's one more gate io that's the other one have you heard of um bing x i heard they're good for uk bing x and um and Fe and Fem and also one and bitget bitget yeah, yeah, I've heard of BitGet. They're they're doing big promotions everywhere. I've, I've definitely heard of them. Uh, but yeah, that's that's my um my bit done. That's my super swings. And again, I would what I'm doing. Everything I've shown you is what I'm doing personally. I'm taking profits from other things and putting ten percent of profits from other things into these high risk long swings. If it's £100 gone, if it's £200 gone, it's fine. I was going to buy myself a nice pair of trainers and buy myself some designer clothes. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pull it into these 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 five things. Each, if they now go and do the 27x, 15x by next March, then obviously I'm going to have to pay tax on that because it's going to be big gains. But now I can buy all the designer clothes in the world that I want. Then you're going to get your trainers. <laughs> yeah. Then I'm going to get multiple. Then I'm going to get the trainers in multiple colorways. So when you... Well, one thing to learn about me is if you see me in loads of new clothes and new new designer trainers, it means that I've probably done exited a big flip somewhere. Yeah, same here, you know. That's the way I do it. Like, okay. it, it can't be one flip. It has to be two flips. It has to be profit that, I've, that I'm rewarding myself for making profit once and then making profit on my profit. That, you got to treat yourself. Yeah. Yeah, please take profit, guys. Yeah. Yeah. At ultimately. some point. <laughs> take profit. Always take profit. So yeah. And obviously, I think on that second flip, you can leave a large gap between where you're trying to take profit. On that first flip, like Ninja said, you want to be taking profit partials, maybe 10%, 50%, 100%, 500%. Those those are my areas where I'm like, take a little bit here and take a little bit here, take a little bit there. But yeah, that's me. Right, I'm handing back over to you guys. Uh, peace and love. Um, I'm at the what am I at tomorrow? If anyone is about, um, I have been invited to be a guest. Um, I'm meant to promote it, so I need to start doing that now. Um, so I'm going to use this call as an opportunity to promote what I'm meant to be at and then snip it. Um, in a second guys uh, okay. london games festival here we go okay uh, let me just do a little cheeky shill um so i'm going to be one of the guest judges and panelists um for this event 
um, Games Festival London. So they're doing the Game Changer Awards. Um, and I'm going to be judging some new startup games um, from some of these incredible entrepreneurs. Uh, I'm going to be judging their games uh, tomorrow. So uh, big, big shout out to Games London um, and Game Changer. Let's go. Perfect. Right. See you later, guys. See you in a bit. Thank you. Bye, 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 bye. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we're going to miss the hard in on those uh, more macro swings. Pip Blonde, what are you saying? Bitcoin to 100K. Is that what you're saying? Let's go, to, okay. let's go back to the classic. <laughs> uh, nothing that different today, but let's just see what's happening to Bitcoin. You know, I'm a little bit crazy, but not that crazy either. <laughs> so I'm happy to see Bitcoin uh, touching my target price nearly there. Um, has been a week of patience on this trade, but now I expect Bitcoin to hit somewhere around uh, 46,900. And it could be further, you know, there are a couple of traders saying 50K, but I'm still with uh, my blue flag that I've measured on a past video. So, yes, we're nearly, nearly there. And it's so nice to see how we've uh, managed to hold, you know. And, man, it's it's been interesting. And I think all coins will definitely start tomorrow, the rally. So we better catch up on it. Ethereum. Uh, here was my first target price, uh, two thousand four hundred. So now, uh, I'm waiting a little bit to see what's going to happen to ETH. Somewhere around, you know, I'm I'm waiting a little bit to drop and then too long again mm -hmm. because I think Ethereum compared to Bitcoin. It's basically not moving. So that gives me more confidence to say we are likely to hit uh, 2,700 or even further because Bitcoin is moving a lot. And Ethereum, it's like, you know, it's moving slowly. So I think Ethereum is going to pump very soon. And you might find some uh, opportunity on a small time frame to enter this next long but of course it's risky now if you don't hold in long position uh so if you're not willing to risk anything not financial advice but you should think before entering along at this prices you know be careful so this coin hot usdt i actually saw it on crypto bubbles let's see oh it's looking really good so I saw it on Crypto Bubbles, and I'm longing to 28. 28, yeah, somewhere around here. And let's see what's going to do, really. You know, if you measure the previous bump, so we're supposed to do it on the first one, but then it's consolidating, so somewhere around here. It's a great uh, trade opportunity. Let me measure the... Uh, percentage, right? Yeah, not bad. So, nothing that crazy. But honestly, going back to Bitcoin, I'm very, very happy to see this target price. And, you know, it's just a little bit to close. Let's go to the weekly. So, we can have a better look on what's actually happening. Oh no. Yeah. So yeah, on a weekly, you know, uh, it could go up a little bit further no, on the other side. Brother, so mm -hmm. I don't know if it's going to 50K, 
but I'm definitely yeah, I'm waiting like a to hit where is my target price from the uh, you, boot flag you coffee? breakout. And of course, we are chocolate? going to fill the CME gap. I'm not going to go to that today, but of course, we are going to uh, to fill it and to draw down a little bit soon. But I think it's likely to hit the target price first. Yeah, so crypto bubbles uh, looking a little bit crazy. Crazy. So I think tomorrow or even uh, tonight, like this morning, could start another uh, altcoin rally. So you definitely want to get these coins, um, the red ones and see what's gonna happen okay but... Hex, my friend Hex. <laughs> oh yeah that is a great buy let's have a look on it look at hex against usd and against ethereum let's have a look on it <laughs> that's your favorite one right yeah, there's no there's no favorite I just I like I like what makes me money. Oh. Oh oh oh. That's a little bit different. I don't know. Let me try something else. Okay, so I'm gonna give you my thesis on hex. Oh my so, god. So first of all, I'm not a hexagon, okay, and I don't actually believe hex adds that much value to the world. But Richard Hart has never claimed that Hex is doing anything that crazy. It's just Hex is, is um, closer to what, you, I guess you could say, the uh, true decentralization. Hex has never been on any centralized exchange. Hex is a community-led project um, with thousands of content creators like hundreds of hundreds and hundreds of hours of content made about it. Um, they do 38% APR, uh, I believe. And obviously people love Richard Hart. Richard Hart, the narrative is Richard Hart was doing loads of good things and was super rich way before crypto. If you go to Richard Hart's personal YouTube, he was posting self-help videos like 10 years ago. And he's been in crypto for a like very, very long time. He was mining Bitcoin, at, I believe under $10. Um, so he's extremely knowledgeable. Um, people like him. People invest in ideas. Um, he's an extremely unique, not only crypto individual, but just individual. He's an extremely unique and fascinating individual um, who's been on many mainstream platforms, including like the Fresh and Fit podcast. I'm sure people know about that, right? Um, he's linked up with... Um, um, uh, who else he linked up with? Um... I'm trying to think of something. Oh, uh, Link Up TV, like the, the uh, what is it, um, UK hip hop platform. So he's very culturally relevant. And then and there's literally a film that came out, out about him recently. And then, and, and, and I know he's in trouble with the SEC for, for some things, but but yeah, so that's Hex. Um, and then now they've got Pulse Chain, which is, which is the Hex, um, you know, layer one. Um, it's got loads of liquidity. They did, they did a big sacrifice. Um, period where people got airdropped, um, I guess you could say synthetic pulse chain Ethereum assets. So yeah, the narrative is crazy. And also Hex is like a hundred X from all time high. But yeah. Yeah, value. I and mean, Ethereum, would you, it's like, would you call it like yes. 0 0.08? Or that's like too long? But this is really flat. It's really flat. It has to bounce at some point. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's a possibility of a, yeah, 100x, I would say. Yeah, least. that's what I mean. So, like, let me tell you what I'm, what I'm doing with Hex, guys. I'm not, I'm not buying and holding Hex. I'm not staking it. What I'm doing is that I'm putting money in the Hex dip. And then when it when it goes up a bit, I take all my dollars out, and I just keep doing that. And, and like I've got lots and lots and lots of hex, but at the same time, I'm well into Ethereum and USDC profit 
because of Hex. And that's it. I just like it as a trading pair. And then I like things inside the Hex, the Pulse Chain ecosystem. I like INC. I like, um, um, well, so I like Hex trading it on, on, uh, on Pulse Chain. Um, I like the PLS token because they're extremely volatile. I like the PLS X token because Pulse X is the native DEX for Pulse Chain. Yeah, that's why. It, it's, it, I'm not I'm not loyal or anything to Pulse Chain or Hex, but it's just there's just loads of opportunity. There's loads of opportunity to increase your Ethereum as well. Yeah. Well, that's definitely a great buy. It's, you know, compared to the other old coins on the week, it's like minus 18. So that could be possibly a 1000x. So <laughs> not financial advice, of Whoa. course. Don't I would me. buy it, but <laughs> IOTA also going down. I mean, uh, the good thing about Hex is that it's not even easy to buy. You need to understand crypto to even buy it. It's not available. Any, it's never been available on centralized exchanges. That's the crazy thing. I think that's the te Telegram one, right? Ton coin. Ton, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's on a great buy also. So yeah, guys, you know, have a look on the red ones and do your own market research, but it's a great opportunity. I think tomorrow all coins will do crazy things, like unbelievably crazy. As soon as Bitcoin stops also, uh, it will stop at some point very soon. But I don't think that we're going to go down yet. It's crazy. It's holding a lot. But, you know, everything is a possibility. And if we go down, I'm going to exit soon. But I'm extremely happy to see that on my target price. Yeah. Wow, so right. a lot of min coins, right? Santa, Santa is here. <laughs> Joke. So yeah, mint coins could be uh, great opportunities also, but of course it's extremely risky. If you're not familiar with, don't even try you know, on coin market cap. <laughs> yeah, all coins are it's just for crazy people crazy people but it's extremely rewarded you know it's even hard to find a a coin that hasn't pumped yet things are looking good right okay, this, kind of this one we just saw it on a previous uh on a previous analysis so yeah i'm just looking into all coins I've heard polka dot will pump as well, but it's already there. So just try to get the red ones and let's see what's going to happen this week. I still believe that Bitcoin is going to go higher. Amazing. So we've got one. I'm, I'm crazy bullish on Bitcoin. Sorry? <laughs> I'm very bullish on Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I've I've changed my sentiment a bit, but well, let's just like I'm not like I don't think we're gonna go to 50k. I don't think we're gonna go to 50. I, I think we're just gonna slowly, slowly keep going up. And then the narrative, obviously, uh, Bitcoin ETF is gonna get approved around Tuesday. The sorry, not Tuesday, but around the fifth of January. So I think we're just gonna we're gonna be bullish till the end of the year. But I don't think Bitcoin's gonna travel that much further. It's gonna be Ethereum traveling further. Um, into yeah. all coins and then meme coins and also um, NFTs. So Waj asks, how do you allocate your portfolio to sectors in crypto? Which sectors are your top three for 2024? What's your top three sectors? How do you allocate your portfolio, Bitblonde? Well, Bitcoin, Ethereum. The third one is hard. Okay, I don't like to go for other products <laughs> joke. Uh, it's a lot of great things. Uh, I think Gala could perform really well. 
I think so. Uh, is actually pumping. Look. So I would say Bitcoin, Ethereum, Gala. But there are other, other coins that I'm, you know, holding for the long term. Solana. And, you know, they're good projects. They're good projects. But of course, it's nothing wrong with meme coins. I think they're super healthy and you should definitely trade it if you understand it. So meme coins are just to make money from nothing. So if you like it, why not? <laughs> yeah. They they even have like Jesus coin, now Santa, Pepe is coming back. Why not? Have fun. Right, but don't hold these coins, right? You don't want to hold these coins, you just want to trade them and leave it. But the good projects, you know, the good projects you definitely have to hold. I mean, not have to if you want to. Uh, near protocol, nice one, also polka dot. You know, there is a lot of opportunity, and I think if you're starting now, it's a very great time. But make sure to prepare yourself during the bull cycle to the downtrend, because then it will come like in a year or something. What What about your top three sectors? Like gaming, obviously there's gaming, there's uh, real world assets, there's DEXs, there's meme coins. What's your I top three sectors? I mean, I'm very British on AI. So I don't want to tell here the name of the project. Okay. But yeah, That's I think nice. AI, AI, gaming, NFTs. Uh, yeah, I just, I don't want to tell it, but. So for me, for me, let me tell you how I allocate my portfolio, right? Cash is not trash. Cash is king. But what cash needs to be is that it needs to be stable coin cash. But what's cash actually? Ca cash, cash for me is USDC, USDT, and die. That's cash, right? Not not GBP. Ugh, that's disgusting, right? So, <laughs> so, 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 I, I keep fifty percent of my portfolio now in USDC, die, and USDT. Why? Because it's an easy measurement. Is if I'm in profit or not in profit. Fortunately, I have a big portfolio now, which is bigger than most people's, so I can do that. I know it's tempting <coughs> to have like 90% of your net worth invested in crypto. It's not really wise, to be honest. Like, if you have, if I if I have, <coughs> oh, uh, White says, Ninja, wait till I show you s -Dine. No, I, I'm, uh, Oh, okay. Yes, I've heard about it. But anyway, let's say you've got $1,000, right? In my opinion, you should always keep $500 in stable coins, even though it's tempting to get more gains by investing more. Because if you see that 500 grow to 600, 700, 800, it's an easy measurement that your portfolio is growing. So, so, so how do I allocate my portfolio? It might sound crazy, but I keep half of it in stable coins, right? That's what I'm doing. I'm not overexposing exposing myself in the market. Second of all, I always have a numerical amount of Bitcoin and Ethereum that I am always looking to grow. So without giving away how much Bitcoin and Ethereum I have, let's say I had, let's say I had one Ethereum. Yeah, that was all my Ethereum portfolio, just one, right? Let's say I've only got one, right? I would look to either trade that one, for example, sell, sell, selling, selling, Selling some Ethereum at um, I don't know two, at a resistance of uh, hypothetical price two thousand seven hundred and buying back at two thousand five hundred fifty going from one Ethereum to maybe like one 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 hundred seven and or converting Ethereum into alts like I'm in an Ethereum to polka dot trade right now right Ethereum into dot back back into more ETH um, I have a numerical amount of Ethereum and Bitcoin in my head I doesn't it's not always there sometimes in a trade that I'm looking to always grow. I never, ever, ever buy Bitcoin and Ethereum. Doesn't mean that you shouldn't, but I never, ever buy Bitcoin and Ethereum with fear. I don't see the point. I'm way too much of a good trader to be buying Bitcoin and Ethereum with my fear. Bitcoin. Also, Bitcoin is basically, obviously, Bitcoin is you know, confusing what 
some people but i understood like yeah yeah you know, you what works for you you know yeah, that's, yeah. that's what i always say that do, it's a little do, bit complicated to give advice. do do you what do do you what do what works for you guys but yeah, I have my I have Bitcoin Ethereum that that, that, that I try to grow because why Bitcoin is digital gold basically, and Ethereum is basically like blockchain Android. That's the way I look at it. You, you're investing in like the new software of the world. Um, okay, so then after that, everything is in altcoins, and I'm always trading. I'm always actively trading. Um, let me rephrase. What do you think are the main themes for crypto 2024? Um, I don't know. Oh, sorry. Someone's calling me. One second, guys. One second. Yo, I'm picking up this. This. Yo, hello, 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 hello. hello. Ninja is something I, else. Honestly, I, I can't like streaming. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ashley's kind of. Is yeah, it's hard to mention like exactly. Uh, it's a lot of things uh, that uh, will uh, here also with AI guys. Be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Shall I tell you my, blah, some blah, of my themes yeah, for 2024, some of the things that I'm it. potentially looking at? Yeah, so these aren't particular projects, but they're more about just general themes um, that, that I'm really paying attention to. One of my fans asked me today uh, what were the main things I was looking for. So I, I was just thinking about this earlier today. Um, so I've written some of them down. So I'll just r run through them. They're all, they're all in random orders. But essentially, uh, the first one is basically Ethereum and Ethereum ecosystem roll-ups, especially when they get better. There's a big, big Ethereum update. Uh, coming out in Q1 2024, which will make rollups like 10 times cheaper. So I think layer two uh, Ethereum rollups are going to be fantastic. And we've got ZK Sync, Linear, Starknet all kind of going to have big, big airdrops. So I think everything related to that is going to be pretty big. Um, I, th I think my general interest is DeFi. So I think generally that sort of stuff will go really well. Um, real world assets should be really interesting. Um, we've seen, you know, the likes of uh, Maker and Frax kind of introduce U.S. Treasuries on chain, but I think we will see other real world assets, things like agriculture and tokenized commodities, kind of come on chain. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, yeah. We've got, yeah, go on. No, no, I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think other stuff that I'm looking at uh, are things like uh, restaking, which is from Eigenlayer. Um, the whole liquid staking derivative finance is something that's going to be really awesome around Ethereum. Um, we've got loads of alternative layer one chains. I think obviously things like Solana and Avalanche have a lot of hype right now, but we have like Bearer chain and the, the new uh, move chains like Sui and Say that have really good tech. So that'll be really cool. Uh, I agree with you. I think NFTs and NFT finance will be really big. I also think social stuff will be really big too, like uh, friend tech for example but we'll see loads of other apps like that um that'll be really cool um decentralized physical infrastructure should be really good too uh, you know we've already got a few coins that have performed really well like render but there will be like loads of other ones as well so some of the stuff that i'm looking at watch, there, watch. Let, me, um, let me let me ask you quickly quick, though obviously crypto yeah. is a narrative right like render says it does this thing i understand what it does happen uh, uh, um I understand what they claim to be able to do, but I've never like met anyone that's, or I never hear people actually using these applications. Come on, come on, crypto Twitter, and you'll find loads. Okay, fair enough. Uh, um, so I, I think that's uh, going on. So it's hard for us to. Sometimes it's even hard to catch up. It's a lot of things coming up. So it is really hard. It. It's so hard to stay up with all of this stuff. You're right. Um, I think um, the other thing is, though, Ninja, is that this is crypto. So things really trade at a premium compared to their fundamentals. Like everything trades at a premium to its fundamentals. That's just the nature of crypto and the nature of narratives and hype. Um, so, yeah, I think that also does play a role. Um, the last things that I think 2024 will be exciting uh, will be like Web3 Gaming, as you've already discussed, um, and then like maybe um, uh, cross-chain communication stuff like Chainlink, like Layer Zero, Wormhole, that sort of stuff as well. So I think those are like my main themes for 2024. But uh, yeah, I'd, I thought it'd just be interesting just to see if there's any anything that was missing. Yeah, search your fire and game fire apps for sure, you know. Yeah. And I think it's time to start giving back to the world so it has to be you know a win-win in web3 we should see more products we should see more apps 
giving back data or whatever, rewarding people for their time. So I think this book, one, it's going to be a little bit uh, more inclusive, I would say, on the product side. I think a lot of people start to realize uh, as we are growing and growing, uh, they should be rewarded for whatever they do. So I can't wait actually to see the change uh, with these platforms like Meta, Facebook, everything. I think we should definitely be rewarded. And it's actually a shame to you not know, uh, receive anything from these companies for all this time. So I think Searchify, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, I agree. I think Frentech showed us earlier this year that, you know, there is really quite a big demand for social fi. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll see some cool stuff. I mean, Lens ecosystem is pretty good, but it's still way too early. Um, uh, like Lens Tube and Lensster, which is like this decentralized version of Twitter and YouTube, I think it's still too early. Um, but I think we'll definitely get there. We'll make I some good progress. I don't even think it's early. I think they're not very interested on doing it. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. A token always helps. <laughs> when they release a token, then I think it'll get a bit more attention. Yeah. Apparently, Twita, I mean, X, it's already like kind of Web3. If you are, uh, if you pay the monthly fee, which is the verification, I was paying on Insta also because I've got a lot of fakes, but like, I don't want to pay to use Instagram just to get a blue tick. But on Twitter, apparently, if you pay, you kind of get rewarded a little bit. So you pay to receive. Like, it doesn't make sense. That's not Web3, in my opinion. But let's see. Let's see. They're not very uh, into it. But, you know, I think once they realize that other companies will do platforms to reward people, they might be like, oh, we have to act now. If not, we're going to lose the public. So can we see the chart for? Sure. Let's have a look. Do you want to share, uh, Ninja? Uh, would you mind being a TA just because? Oh, yeah. yeah. You can't do it, yeah. No, I, I can't. I can't, but this, that's when the Matrix likes to attack. That's when the audio goes, <laughs> too much information. F, uh, F, X, S. Which one is it? Uh, Frax share. Yeah, yeah. Just making sure. USDT, huh? Yeah, that's the daily. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, wow. That was really flat for some time yeah a long time we had this small pump here but i would say that was just flat and going sideways so it's apparently pumping let me just have an outlook i actually don't even know about this hmm yeah, that's on a great buy zone, in my opinion. Apparently, it's waking up now. So, that was the previous one. So, it's likely to flip that. Let's say what the 200 MA is 20, around 20, I would say, you know, at least for the first pump. 16, 20, 16 could be the first. Um, take profit and then you could just add a stop loss below and see like if it goes up hmm, interesting who asked that question pardon uh i did oh, okay I did. are you trading this coin uh i'm it's part of my long-term spot holding um i, I bought most of mine around four dollars like back in november or something last year um, so I've, I've held it for a year. I'll just keep holding it. It's one of my favorite projects. Yeah, well, all-time high. It's in the top 100, I believe. Maybe it's like rank 80 or something like that. 
44. Hmm. I think that's going to be a great reward. Yeah. Just need to be a little bit patient. And yep. but you're not trading, you hold it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fundamentally one of the oh, best okay. coins in crypto, I think. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty flat. So you guys, when when DJ Doctor White says it's one of the best coins in crypto, in my opinion. Take note. <laughs> Any extra point, guys? Can we look at the chart for uh, butterfly? B T R F L Y. Is that a meme coin? No, 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 no. B T the up, R R, and then fly. B T R F L Y. He's a serious project. Oh. F-L-Y. Oh. Maybe you can get the Uniswap chart. Yeah. USDC. Ooh. Mm, I don't think that's all right. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you have to use Dex Screener to get the chart. Yeah, go to go to Dex Screener or Dex Tools the IO or Coin Trader. So. There we go. Mm -mm. Once you live on Dex tools, trading view is boring, bro. <laughs> oh, how is it? B? Uh, I put it in the chat. Oh, yeah. Never mind. My mind is somewhere else. Yeah, I that's the one. I've heard about this project. Oh my god. Is that less than 10 million market cap? No, no, it's not. That market cap's wrong. I believe it's like 60, 60 million. Well, that's a big shame, isn't it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, it's pretty new. Are you trading or yeah, just long term hold. hold? Long term, long term hold. Mm. Yeah. Butterfly. Is that 12 butterfly project? No, no the project is actually called Redacted Cartel, and this is the this is the governance token for it. Mm. Interesting. Uh, I've done I've done a deep dive on it on my YouTube. It's like a a 30 minute long video covering everything about it. Thank oh. you, Raj. Let's go to that video quickly. Let's plug him in. Let's <laughs> put it on. Put it on. That, shall I put it in the description? Yeah. No, let's, in the let's, chat, share it. let's share it on the screen as well. Let, let me get let me get the link one sec. Thank you. I'm going to DJ my way to it's a millionaire status, bro. Mm -hmm. Carry more. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get my free airdrops. There it is. Today we are doing another deep dive into a protocol that's been on my watch list for a long, long time. Today we are talking about Redacted Cartel. Let's get straight to it. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Don't forget, like, subscribe. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it, it's uh, basically a presentation that is just covering it all. But um, yeah, one There's one that I really really like. Channel, so if you haven't seen okay, any, so of, let me just. What are we going to talk about today over. exactly? Well, we've got tons to talk about. The products themselves, Hidden Hand and Pyrex, being two of them. Some of the partners, the Treasury that. Uh, redacted own uh, dinero which is a stable coin project coming to redacted i uh, will touch upon the redacted cartel wars butterfly the native token for redacted um liquidity team and the community and of course the future of redacted so lots of stuff to dive into today um 
and we are going to start with the product. <laughs> it's a long one. We'll, we'll be here all night watching it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, guys, let's uh, support. Okay. I personally am um, subscribed yet. And very, very cool. Right. So I think that's going to be an interesting one. Yeah. Interesting. Um, can we also look at the chart for... Oh my God, what? So many projects. I thought it was the last one. Come on, let's go again. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Um, why don't we look at why don't we look at Polygon? Let's look at the chart for Polygon. Here. Oh no, let's look at it here. Well, I think Polly. Uh, a matic, sorry. Holy gun. It's gonna do well. A lot of NFTs, right, for free on the chain also. And uh, the token uh, is going to be changed from Matic to Polygon. So it won't be called Matic anymore. New token. Oh, really? Mm hmm Oh. What's yeah. the all-time high on it? uh 21 point 21 bill market cap yeah so we got a maybe a 3x to all-time high yeah correct i mean to be honest if you see uh if you see solana at 32 billion market cap and 42 billion fully diluted is it unreasonable for polygon to get to half of what Solana is right now? Also, remember, Sol Solana, I literally, did, I literally did the math today. S Solana current price to Solana all-time high is about 3.75x. But Solana current market cap to Solana all-time high market cap is less than 2.6x. So th th there's been a lot of Solana printed since November 2021. Whereas if you look at Polygon, there isn't actually that much more to come out in circulation. It's pretty much almost all out in circulation, like 92% out in circulation. Yeah, so long, so long as a limited supply. Mm. Which isn't the best, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, let's also look at um, the one coin that has been going crazy this week, which is Avalanche. Oh, Coins with limited supply, man. Why is the longest printing free money on YouTube? We've seen some pump here. Yeah, but it's a little bit. Well, we might retrace a little bit to continue. That is. is that, yeah, up 70% this week. That is yeah, really great. So. Could have put 10 grand in it. He has to correct at some point, at least around 80, right? So that's a great one to keep tracking on. But I wouldn't buy yet. I would wait a little bit to a better entry point on this small time frame. But that's a good one. All time high, uh, 147 somewhere about it's a lot of opportunity this time you know yeah a lot of opportunity. What are, i'm very happy can we also look at the chart for s and x s and x yeah synthetics binance do you use binance um i, I use on-chain stuff only i don't use any centralized exchange okay that makes sense well that's a great one it's also starting to move a bit. I think it's up twenty percent yeah. today. That's a very, okay, very good. What? This is the money show every Sunday, guys. Make sure to take notes and do your omaka research. But it's a lot of great, um, you know, opportunities here in this Sunday talk. <laughs> So, so much opportunity. 15, somewhere about 15, it should be. 
for you know the first big correction i would say wow uh all time high was that is that 28 yeah 29 yeah. to be precise but i think 30 would be it that's a very very great opportunity let me see the percentage but by the way all of these coins that i've been uh, showing fundamentally they are much much better than what they were in the past let me just have a like if you have you know the ability to hold like this is a long hold okay guys not like trading wise that's a you know holding until it goes back to all time high that it's a it's more than 100x absolutely yeah so Whoa. by the way guys definitely do not be holding anything ever to like more than 10x if you and not taking profit like you can't be in 10x and not take your initial capital you know what i mean like you have to <laughs> really yeah i mean money. it's it's hard i mean apart from bitcoin and ethereum you should be a little bit um concerned about holding these coins be very very but, concerned yeah but if you are a little bit crazy and if you can hold it, and if you understand it, it's a lot of reward here. So that's a great, great one. I would say 30, okay? That that was that was like 29, but this turn could be 30. That's a very good uh, living. <laughs> that's a very good living. Any extra? Any X one? Oh yeah, um, two more. Um, could we look at Could we look at Blur? You know, for the NFT lovers. B yeah, Blur. Blur is literally the NFT global volume market right now. B L U R. Open C. It's crazy. Oh. <laughs> I think that that wick makes the chart look horrible, but it shouldn't be that bad. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Isn't bad actually. Let me see on the X train that I actually tried. Femix. Oh, that's pretty new. That has a lot of opportunity. Ninja, you said Blur has right? how much of the uh, NFT marketplace share at the moment? So I literally covered this on NFT Friday. So shout out to NFT Plazas for their November 2023 NFT report that got released, well, obviously recently. And one of the data sets in that, uh, in, that in that recent NFT report is that Blur Marketplace is now about 80% of global NFT trading volume. They've way more than 2x OpenSea, which I don't actually understand how, because- as Yeah, it makes human, sense to me. I, I, I do all of my NFT trades on Blur. I never use OpenSea anymore. Oh, okay. Fair enough. The, uh, uh, there's only one reason why. Go on. Because OpenSea didn't make a token and Blur made a token. Oh, my God. Is that it? Oh, my great news. I haven't realized that. That's really bad. Oh, wow. And oh, um, what Blur, what Blur did really He's well. He's going to wait for the OpenSea token now. Well, I mean, I feel like they've missed their boat. They should have done it, like, when they still had market share. But they've lost so much market share now. So, yeah, interesting one. Um, I think what Blur, what Blur did really well is they gamified the whole token as well with these, like, um, packages. And they've had these, like, multiple seasons where you used to get points if you bidded on NFTs or sold NFTs. And those points would give you Blur tokens. And they gamified it so well um, that it just worked really well. And then... What happened recently was that the the team from Blur decided to make an actual blockchain, an Ethereum layer two blockchain. It's called Blast, and um, it's already got a billion in uh, total value locked already, or almost a billion already. Um, and they've got a token coming out, and it's going to be given out to Blur token holders as well. So um, that's on a great, great buy. And I'm wondering why OpenSea does not have a token. 
<laughs> they should. I just clicked now. Like, how come they they literally the biggest NFT marketplace? Even scary. Uh, I mean, uh, do you guys? Where do you guys buy your NFTs from nowadays? Like for me, Blur just works really well, so I probably do like ninety percent of my. Open oh, yeah. yeah. I did open thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's just it's, I'm comfortable. I feel safe. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. The user interface is nice and friendly. It's like eBay. It is. Yeah, it is. It is. I think I think I think blur. I think um, just we just, you know, used to open C. It, it just looks cool and it was the first but it doesn't mean like it's the best in a while so let's see what's coming up you know yeah i, th I think blur just made nfts for traders basically um and yeah the token did everything for it i'm definitely gonna get into this coin i mean it's pumped a lot recently like what was the what was the low like just like two months ago how, how low did it how low was it 0 0.16 something so we're like 3.5x oh time height was like 138 so we might hate two i would say and blur is about rank 100 so it's like pretty one of the big kind of altcoins as well mm, that's gonna be interesting like even if you look into the four hour chart it's a great uh start around here too long. Look at that. That's literally flat. Can we also look at um, CRV from Curve? Yeah, you love your Curve. <laughs> I, I like the platform. I don't like the token. <laughs> uh, you guys are funny. I'm seeing a cup and handle, kind of. W. Breakout, yeah, sort of. Hmm, for all you know, let me go to the daily. It's just wow. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Twenty three was the all time high. That's I think that was just must have just been a wick from day one. What was the actual all time high around five six dollars? If you ignore that one, yeah, 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 yeah. six eight seven. Okay, yeah, somewhere about seven. That's a good buy, that's a definite good one. Also, like it's so flat. Oh, I've got a coin actually. One of the new coins that has just come out. Um, it's called uh, Say S E I. I don't think that'll be on trading view. It should be. It's on Binance. Oh. And Coinbase. It's like a, also one of the big coins in the top hundred. Mm. Where That's the hell does this coin come from? I've never heard of this. It's one of the new layer one chains that has um. Uh, this uh, this tech called Move, which actually should, in theory, make it more better than Solana from a tech perspective, um, but very very early. It's on a great uh, like buying zone also. Hmm, that's interesting. But you know, like some some things you can relate to product, and some things you can just trade. Okay, so. That's why people need to do their own market research and they need to kind of figure out what, what product they like and they're going to hold and what product they're just going to trade. Yeah, I agree. Everyone needs to do their own research. Because, like, you personally like uh, some platform that we just uh, see uh, V, actually, right? Yeah, Curve, yeah, a, a yeah. great platform, but I'm not so keen on the token because there's obviously so much more to it than just a good platform doesn't always equal good token, you know? If there's lots of inflation or there's no revenue or whatever, if there's, like, big big holders, lots of whales and poor distribution and 
things like that, they, they all make a big difference. Tokenomics really make a big difference. So you could have a great token, uh, or, you, or you, sorry, I, sh I should say, you could have a great platform, but not always a great token. And it can sometimes be the other way around. Sometimes you can have a great token, but a horrible platform. And the token does really well. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of competition also, you know, so that's why, I mean, you need to know what product you're going to hold, hold long, what you can just trade and be aware also, it's a lot of things on the market. And it's really personal at some points, but that was a very, very great catch, I would say. You got very, very good um, all coins. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Right, guys, let's wrap it up here. So that was a lot of alpha. I was going to go into some Solana DGen talk, but I think you guys got some good offer from the team. So, yeah, catch us next week, every Sunday. Tell a friend to tell a friend. It was a uh, very, very great one, guys. Yeah, it always is. The last one was legendary. This one was legendary. We keep setting the bar high. Technically speaking, every Sunday, 8 p.m. plus. The Bit Blonde, myself, Ninja, special guest including Mr. Harding. And watch appearing and dropping his alpha. Take care, guys. See you soon. Take care, guys. Thank you.